Welcome back to Switch to Linux. We're going to do another walking discussion here today. And uh, this was a neat one. Um, the other day it, it came out, there was a Reddit post, forum post, and Linus Tech Tips had mentioned that using an ad blocker is piracy. And his logic was this, that if a content creator puts out a video and basically you're paying for that content by watching the ads. That was his argument. And I want to say that argument is not exactly um, kosher. And we'll put it to you in a couple different ways. First, I am a person that produces a lot of content for free. You can get out there, you can watch it on YouTube. If you watch the content on YouTube and you don't use an ad blocker, I will get paid a couple of cents. It's like Lewis Rossman talking about this. Uh, he broke it down about one tenth of a penny um, for a person who does not use an ad blocker. Now I also write books and in writing books I sell those in digital formats, audio formats, and in print formats. So we'll put it to you in this format. If a person were to get a copy of my book, let's just say the ebook or the audiobook, and start distributing that, that would be piracy because they're taking a work that I am explicitly selling and they are giving it away for free and that is at its heart exactly what piracy is. It is to steal a work and not just steal but to distribute a work without uh, cutting out the original creator's um, payment for it. All right, and that in and of itself would be problematic. So on the video platform, if I were to create videos that are behind a paywall, and then those paywall videos, those get leaked out, then we have a piracy argument because at that point in time, somebody is bypassing what I have said. Okay, this is the free content. It's publicly available, and if I make a few cents off of it, then I make a few cents off of it. But if somebody then takes the content that I'm not asking to put online, and we are, and they are putting it online for free, bypassing my initial restrictions, that in and itself is piracy. So we can look at the distribution of free content. We can look at the distribution of paid content. Piracy gets around paid content, not free content. So he makes this argument. Now, some people have said, well, that's just because he's a shill and he's mad that people are not paying him for his free content. I don't think that's the case at all because frankly, he doesn't make a lot of money off of advertising um, on advertisements, just free advertisements, as opposed to the other brand deals and things that he does. And so I'm not gonna argue it from that perspective. But let's go ahead and look at the flip side of this coin. Why do people use ad blockers? Well, the first is, unfortunately, many ads are extraordinarily obnoxious. If ads were not as obnoxious, I wouldn't use an ad blocker. I don't care if you're gonna throw me some ad for headphones on the sidebar of your website, or even maybe a little bit in line with the content. The problem is, the way modern people are doing modern ads, let's just talk about a website, you're doing popovers. You're doing graying out the whole screen. You gotta acknowledge you see this bleeping ad before you can move on. That is obnoxious. I did not come to the website to interact with your damn ads. I came to the website to see your content. And if you make it impossible for me to see your content without interacting with your stupid ads, I simply close the site and go somewhere else. Okay, so obnoxious is the first reason. The second is annoying. Now we're talking here about targeted ads. When you have ads that are targeted to you, okay, and basically the ad company is tracking out who you are. They're looking at all these different things and they wanna say, we know that you are you know, a basketball lover. So every single time we load up a website, we're gonna show you ads for basketballs and basketballs and basketballs and basketballs. Pretty soon, I'm questioning if I like basketball anymore. Okay, and that's stupid and it's annoying. So that is obnoxious in a different way. 
That's why I put obnox you know, obnoxious on one end and annoying on the other. Because we have that same element going on. So the targeted ads, I don't want to see. Again, throw me an advertisement for a headphones on the side of an article about headphones, a contextual ad as it were. I'm okay with that. That's cool. I don't mind your contextual ad. I might even click on the link if I'm interested in that content. But stop feeding me stuff you think I want to see because that's the fastest way for me to not click on your ads at all. Okay, so the next factor is obnoxious, or excuse me, malicious. Many ad networks, whether you're talking about the basic cheap chum ads at the bottom of an article or the safe Google ads, well, even the safe Google ads, there's a lot of malware in those. And so advertising becomes a way to distribute malware. And so if we run an ad blocker, we're pretty sure we're not going to get malicious ads. But if we're not running an ad blocker, you very well may be getting malicious ads ads and so that is another reason why i personally choose to run an ad blocker because malicious ads are indeed a thing now let's talk about what youtube's doing with video ads this is probably more what linus is talking about in some respects um, some people in the reddit thread pointed out that he did a tutorial teaching us how to block ads with piehole <laughs> i did one of those tutorials as well <clears throat> Only I'm not coming out of the other end of my mouth and saying, don't use our blocker, it's piracy. All right, but in the video ads, with what YouTube's doing right now, they're trying to force an ad every five minutes of video content. And it's so annoying, I can't stand YouTube if it's not for an ad blocker. So I personally, on my ads, very rarely do I even allow YouTube to have a mid-roll ad if I have the choice. I like to disable the mid-rolls. I put one at the beginning, one at the end and nothing in between if I have a choice. Unless it's a really long video, I'll put one in maybe in the middle. But other than that, I don't want my channel to become annoying any more than I can control it. Of course, YouTube's doing oftentimes what they want. The problem is you get an ad every five minutes into the content. It breaks up the flow of the video. I lose concentration on what's going on. I lose concentration on what else I might be doing if I'm listening to that video in the background. And it becomes this horrible, unpleasant experience. And it just makes me want to turn off YouTube altogether. So, to YouTube, I am running an ad blocker to make your platform, um, to make your platform uh, usable. And because I don't mind if you give me a pre-roll or a post-roll ad. That's cool. But if you're throwing an ad at me every five minutes, not interested. So, unfortunately, I have to block most of them. And, um, yeah, that, uh, th those, are, those are the reasons I, I have written down why people are running an ad blocker. There's probably more to let me know in the comments down below why you are running one. But let's go ahead and look at other sources. If you would like to support a creator, rather than each video you watch, you'll watch 10 of their videos and you've just paid a penny. Well, thanks for the penny. I do appreciate that over the aggregate that does actually produce a fairly decent income. However, uh, there's other places. Um, buy various resources. You know, you can buy a t-shirt, you can buy a hat, you can buy a book, you can buy all these different things. Creators will have those. We have shop.switchtolinux.com. Uh, my books, most of them are Christian. Those are on rwalkingchrist.com. I do have, though, synaptergy.com is the science fiction novel. Um, there are support platforms, Patreon, Subscribestar. Those are good platforms that you can use for other people. And then, of course, affiliates. I like the affiliates better than the basic advertising. I don't get paid up front. I get paid if you happen to click the product, buy it, and like it. So that's why I like affiliates over sponsorships and even over pushing ads inside of the videos, if at all possible. So is using an ad blocker piracy? Well, the answer is no. In ad, using an ad blocker is not piracy. I have no earthly idea what in the world he's talking about. I have chosen to throw the video out on a free platform. You have chosen to watch the video. If I happen to get paid by an ad, that's cool. If I don't, hey, that's why I have affiliates and support links at the end of each of the videos. So that is how you should support your creators instead of them having to rely on various ads. So anyway, with that, let me know your thoughts on all these in the comments down below. Did you see that Reddit thread or maybe Lewis Rossman talking about it or maybe the thread on, on his uh, forum? 
let me know your thoughts and all that and we will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching this video from switched to linux this channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now you can be a supporter at patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.